The lock rotation for VCSA7 is not as effective as previous versions. This can lead to the storage and log becoming full and the storage bundles to be excessively large. The best solution to this is to set up a more efficient log rotation using the following steps. The first step we are taking involves reducing the log rotation of the EAM service. To do this we shall use the vCenter server shell. Firstly, we shall create a backup of the server.xml file using the command currently on display. Once this is completed, we shall change directory to the folder containing the previously mentioned file, after which we shall use the ls command to verify a backup had indeed been created. After this, we use the vi command to enter the text editor of the server.xml file. Once here, look for the valve class name line which is highlighted here. Once you have located the line in question, navigate towards it and enter the following parameter. Max days equal to your desired number of days. In this example, we shall be using 30 days. Once this is completed, save your changes and exit from the file. To do this, we shall use the WQ command. Upon exiting the VI editor, we shall restart the VMware EAM service by entering the following command. Service-control dash dash restart VMware dash EAM. As we see, the service has been successfully restarted. Next, we shall correct an issue with the IM file overshoot. First, we shall take a backup of the original PostGreeze Archiver syslog configuration. To do this, we shall use the command now being displayed on screen. Once this has been completed, we shall use the VI text editor to edit the PostGreeze Archiver syslog configuration file currently on display. Once inside the text editor, first comment out the pre-existing text as shown now using the hashtag symbol. Once this has been completed, you shall begin to enter the following content. Once this content has been added, you can then move to save your changes and exit from the VI editor. To do this, you can use the WQ command as shown here. After exiting the VI editor, you can use the CAT command on the previously mentioned file to verify that the content has indeed saved and been updated. Finally, we shall restart the or syslog by using the following command systemctl restart or syslog. 